Uh, hi friends, here in this video we are going to know the projections of plane surface. Uh, the problem is like this. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter rests on HP such that one of its diameters is inclined at 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP. Draw its top and front views in this portion. Okay, see the given lamina is on circular lamina. Let's start to find out the details of first, second, and third portion. Okay, see. Uh, a circle lamina 50 mm diameter diameter of circle is 50 mm rest on HP the plane of projection is okay we need to find out uh, for first position plane of projection and how does it rest on that plane okay the plane of projection is uh, HP okay directly given HP okay see so, yeah, I discussed in the previous problem okay circle there is no edges and corners in the circle there is no edges and corners in the circle usually it rests on point of the circumference okay rest on point okay for second portion what is given such that one of its diameter is inclined at 30 degree to vp and 45 degree to hp this detail is for second portion okay theta is given 45 degree okay na? Ah, then for third portion one of its diameter is inclined at 30 degree to vp that is nothing but diameter is inclined at 30 degree to vp phi is given okay these are the details for first second and third portions okay see uh, these two first and second portions are similar to previous problem just to watch that video then you know that how to draw first and second problem see this is the problem see this is the previous problem okay this is the previous problem see here this is the previous problem see first two positions are similar are there see first two positions are similar first two positions are first two positions are similar just to check the data here then you know that in first portion what is given here hp hp plane is hp rest on point for second portion 45 degree is given here also 45 degree. hence starting two positions are similar first and two positions are similar just i am going to discuss only third portion okay for details how to draw these two portions just to watch the previous video okay see for third portion what is given only third portion is changes from the previous problem okay na? okay what is the third portion changes here diameter is inclined one of its diameter is inclined at 30 degree to vp okay see already we know the one already we know that for third portion see for third portion we have to check it resting edge is inclined is given in the problem not given okay if it is not given then you go to the second point in case of circle diameter is inclined okay here diameter is inclined right this is given okay then diameter along with the diameter appear world is there in the problem there is no appear world then it is not related to uh, second one that is nothing but uh, apparent angle is not given then along with the diameter appear world is absent then that is nothing but uh, true angle is given okay see we need to find out in the problem either apparent angle is given or uh, true angle is given D diameter along with appear world that is apparent angle is given diameter without appear that is a uh, true angle is given Okay, na? Even true angle is given, then we have to find out the apparent angle. Okay, this is the concept. Huh? Okay, whatever is given first, uh, uh, that 5 to 30 degrees is given, 5 measuring below the x-y line, keep the protractor here, take 30 degree line below the x-y line. Okay, draw the 30 degree line below the x-y line. Okay, see now uh, in this problem, okay, in for first portion a to e1 just i will change the name a to e1 this is one diameter and a to e this is another diameter okay now see we know that apparent angles are measuring with respect to apparent length of the line true angles are measuring with respect to true length of the line okay see here there are two diameter are there a e1 one diameter and a e is another diameter okay in these two which is the true length of the diameter ae1 since it is a true shape of the view hence ae1 this is the true length of the diameter mark this true length of the diameter on this line since the angle is a true angle okay na? Oh, measure how much 
I think this is the diameter 50 is there, correct? A to E1 diameter, how much is there? 50. You measure distance from here to here. Now you mark it anywhere here. First you mark it anywhere on this. Now after this, from here. Okay, now. Okay. This point is A and I will write it this point as a E1. Okay. See, this type of problem is also called as a locus method okay uh, locus problems usually okay draw the locus line draw the locus line this what is the name of this line locus of e locus of e okay now now see i want to see true length of the diameter is inclined to true angle okay say like this true angle measuring with respect to true length of the diameter okay now uh, see now i want to redraw this top view okay if you want to redraw this or uh, i want to rotate this one anyone should be rotate okay with the help of a true length of the diameter we can draw apparent length of the diameter with the help of a locus method uh, that's why i have drawn locus line at passing through e1 okay now i can mark it ae on uh, with the help of uh, this locus method okay uh, measure a e how much is there a to he how much is the measure now e mark it on this locus line okay e mark it on this locus line okay now it is inclined is there uh, it is rotated okay join a and e then extend up to x y line you measure this angle is uh, beta or apparent angle we have to find out this beta that is apparent angle okay now i have marked a and e huh? with the help of this a and e we can redraw this top view without changing any dimension see how to read same enclose this with box okay same enclose this with box okay this is the box Okay, no? then here already line in. this point is 1 up to here okay ah, okay this point is 2 3 and 4 okay so this box look like as a rectangle you draw this rectangle with respect to ae okay see very simple is there 1 2 is perpendicular to ae at a 3, 4 is perpendicular to A, E at E. Correct? Huh? That is nothing but at A and E, draw the perpendicular line. With the help of protractor, keep the protractor on A with respect to this A, E. Keeping on protractor on A, E. Okay? mark it 90 degree then here also okay draw the uh, perpendicular line to a e at a simply you draw the line here like this okay no? then at e also you draw the line now okay now if you rotate like this one is coming this side two is coming this side measure distance okay see here one from a to one how much is there a to one here okay a to one is equal to a to two also a to two also a to one a to one is equal to a to two also okay now one two then also three four okay one two three four join we will get the, this box that is nothing but that is a rectangle okay then after this uh, uh, inside uh, some lines are there this rectangle you mark it those lines uh, then we mark it those lines here first i mark this line First, uh, I will mark it C here. C. C. And uh, it is equal to G also. G on this. 
g on one four line okay na now draw the line here okay na oh now this is c and g okay now i want to mark it in between points see what you do here very simple uh, either you draw like okay better you draw like this two two or a to this distance how much is the measure that is nothing but this distance okay na measure two to three okay here you mark it similarly same distance is there when you are measuring here you mark it here also all four sides are same distance it, eh? it is distance okay now draw the line horizontal line here and draw the these two lines we are passing through these points okay just i draw the line okay now then after these vertical lines are there okay and now i want to draw this line measure line from okay same distance all four are same distance are there oh, now you join okay now automatically we will get the this intersection point is the b c this point is the d e f g h and this is a join all the points with a smooth curve okay na? see now uh, same here this front view is very simple project all the points of the, this top view upward vertically then all the points of this previous front view draw horizontally these vertical project and horizontal project are intersecting okay mark the intersection part by joining them you will obtain the front view okay. now first you project all the horizontal projectors from the previous front view okay here on this horizontal line b and h are there on this horizontal line what are the points are c and g okay now first you draw then it's uh, it's very simple on this horizontal line d and f okay two points are there on this horizontal line e is there okay now from the vertical line a where is a a a on x y line okay on x y line this point is a dash okay b b on this horizontal line draw the vertical line from b okay this point is b dash and c c on this horizontal line okay this point is the c dash and d d on this horizontal line okay project vertical line from d then it meet the horizontal line from d this point is the d dash e e last line last horizontal line this point is the e dash and f f on this horizontal line f dash then g g on this horizontal line g g dash then h h dash okay join all the points see with smooth curve you join it okay this is the uh, required front view okay then we have to find out here beta beta is how much we have to find out here beta is 45 degree beta is equal to we will get by measuring we will know that beta is equal to 45 degree thank you